Here we are with former world title challenger Tion Kennedy, who uh, on December 8th is taking on undefeated Jerry Belmontes. Uh, Tion, how you doing? We're about a month out. Uh, I'm doing good, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm uh, moving up eight pounds, so my weight should be cool, and uh, all the strength should be there on December 8th. Talk about that, the eight pounds. I mean, uh, you mentioned a little bit of trouble making 22. You're basically skipping right over 26 and going right to 30. Well, right now, I'm just filling 130 out. Uh, I might not stay there. I'll probably go down to 126 after the fight, but uh, I guess we'll see um, at 130 if I'm too too small for that way. Or, you know what I mean? We, we, we'll see, but hope, well, I know I'm going to be stronger, and my punch power is going uh, to show up on that fight. You're coming off a loss to a guy who I think is one, one of the best fighters in the world, yeah. you know, pound for pound, talent-wise, in Rigondeaux. Uh, mm -hmm. What did you learn in that fight? Uh, well, I learned... I learned a lot. Like I said, when, when I came to fight, it was like a big stage. I mean, you pack out stage, I was nervous. I mean, that's probably why I think I, I was falling a lot too. And I kept saying knockdowns or whatever. But I, I learned a lot, you know what I mean, um, from, from the, the fight. I, I just, tell you the truth, I'm, I'm just ready to get back to that stage. So that's why I'm, I need to show show my skills in the fight. Like I said before, I, I know you're not putting a loop for a knockout, but uh, I'm trying to get a knockout between the sixth and seventh round. What do you know about Jerry Belmontes? Uh, I really don't know much. I've seen one of his fight. But I don't, I don't mean like watching tapes on, uh, on guys anyway, but uh, he, he seemed like a, um, a decent guy, you know what I mean? Uh, he, he boxes a little bit. He like he a good counter puncher, but you know, I'm like, when I get in that ring, I'm, I'm just take it to him. He's a little taller than you. Uh, yeah. Is that, is that going to be difficult for you? Is that, you, you guess you can get a lot of sparring with taller guys? Well, I don't, I don't think it should be difficult, you know what I mean? Like, when you go in the fight, you should be, be able to adapt to uh, any fighter, so uh, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. The fact down that, you know, you fought on ESPN the fight before, and then, uh, the, like you said, on the big stage of Pacquiao, and this is going to be on a pretty high-profile stage on NBC Sports. You feel, you know, with a win, you're right back in the mix, whether it's at 130 or 126, you're right back at that title uh, contention stage? Yeah, I believe so, because one, like, like I said, I can showcase my uh, my skills back on TV, and I come to, and I'm fighting a guy that, uh, not a bad fighter, you know what I mean, 17 you know what I mean, so, um, but this one, I think I'll be right back, right back in the spot. Do you consider this a make or break fight? Um... I think too. I think all my fights are make a great fight. If you ask me, I mean, because you don't want to lose, you don't want to draw, you want to win. So I, I, that's how I look at all my fights. Anything you want to say in closing? Uh, like I say all the time, just everybody that's following me, uh, that's my fans. You know what I mean, keep watching. You know what I mean, I, I've been all, I've been laid off for six months, so I'm back and I'm ready to go. We'll see you December eighth. Yep. Thank you.